the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Do you think that God, do you think that they're taking a stand for injustice might open the door for God to speak to them? Well, it comes with what we, we discussed already. Anything can open the door for God no, to speak. No, I ain't talking about anything. I'm talking about injustice now. Because they ain't out there for anything. They out there you know, for anything. There are some situations where I don't believe that it's going to translate. It's not. You me? Now, I agree. I mean, I, and I have to take on that one too. Uh, there are some situations where these kids are gonna reap the social benefit that they might desire. Even if we got justice from the police department, the kids' business. heart is not gonna be good. Do you think that their stand for injustice might open the door for God to speak to them? Cause they are standing on for something that God is for. I think that their stand, when, I, when you say that, I, it's kinda, that's kind of a shaky ground for me because uh, the way that God sees injustice is a manifestation of what's in your heart. You know what I'm saying? And and He's trying to fix the source of the problem, which is the human heart. I can fix a person's behavior by writing laws and saying, if you don't comply, I'm going to punish you. And they'll comply, but it doesn't fix their heart. But that doesn't go to the place where God is trying to get this. Something off the subject. I'm asking you a simple question. You keep diverting. Why do you keep diverting from the same? I'm asking you plain, simple thing. Can God use this situation to speak to someone? See, you know it well as I do that God can use any situation to what He wanted to. I mean, so so I mean, it's not it's not like I'm disagreeing with that. Is that He can use their their search for social justice, like with me? So, I so, thought so, on a personal so, note, I thought that once we so, obtain using the situation that you wanted to use. Let, let me tell you something. I thought that us obtaining our civil rights was a cure all, uh, and then I saw us obtain our civil rights. Us. And we had a right to speak out, and we had a right to vote, and we had a right to do this, we had a right to do that. And those rights empowered us to kill each other off. Ooh. Those rights empowered us, and we won't do it anyway, that, that those rights empowered us to park our cars and leave them open and cuss and and, 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 and pollute the airways with such filth that it is ridiculous. There was a time when it, 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 black people were school. And y'all got I don't know, baby, y'all don't have the same as that. You do it black. How do you blame that on civil rights? Well, let, let me tell you something. There were times you couldn't even get a car. It was time you were, you, you, man, please, come on. We oh, know. Is Brother Addison doing that? Oh. You know, brother, people, right? brother Addison doing that? Why are we doing that? That's He's black. Saying, He's black. Man. But he, he, he's black, Elder. He's black. So I'm civil not, rights. Is what? Is he doing that? Bro, bro, that's not my. I've seen him do it lately. He's black. <laughs> it's lately. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he's black. Listen, he got civil rights. <laughs> I know, right? He does. So it, it, uh, obviously, it's not. It's not a. Um, it's I'm, it's I'm not. A, it's not right. across the board. I'm out. Exactly. That's yeah, I mean, being that, out says that, that. That's all we're trying to say, Elder, is that. Focus on the gospel. That's all we're trying to say is it's not all. You, you got to get that, that mold that the white racist talked about. It's not all. That's all I'm trying to say. It's not all. It's, it's not black people. There's people that may be black that's doing insults and, you know, immoral things. But not all black people are not doing that. There's black people who benefited from the civil rights movement that's not doing the cursing, the shooting, and everything else. I mean, I'm not doing that. You know, wait, wait, you know, wait, hold, hold, just a second. Yeah, because I really got to qualify this. I mean, not qualify, but I got to find a, a good resource of it. Why, when I say that, it get a piece of those people that I'm saying is about everybody? But that's what you said, black people. I'm black. What yeah, I mean, I, 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 I actually speaking, why? I, I'm not doing it. So you said, why, why, why would I say that everybody's included in that? You said, I mean, I, 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 it black. must be something I'm saying that's saying that every, all black people are doing this out of the street with the cars and stuff. Hey, hey, let me get the word. Let me get the answer. You said us. What What's included in oh. us or excluded in us? And you said black people. What included in black people, not included in black people? 
I'm just saying, when you use the word us, who that, who is us? Those of us who are abused by and those who have been treated by this, those who they wrote the, the one that said you can't vote amendment, those, those, uh, those who- Those are us. Uh, the, the, the Jim Crow laws and the, and the, the being able to get fair housing, and right. those us is that that's that's everybody. That, that's everybody. But even with those, <laughs> even with that, but let me ask you this. Did you, no. did, did, do you think we all voted? Wait, 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 now, wait, wait, wait. Have, 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 have we're, homes? We're trying to identify the us. I'm talking about the ones that the, 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 the uh, society wrote specific rules and regulations and adopted okay. certain laws to accommodate the, 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 the I, guess the, I don't know if impropriety is a good word, but but the injustices that were done to them historically. Right. So those you know, us. So, so those are the us that I'm talking about. Yeah. So all those us, are they the ones that's killing? All of us are killing people in Megan. All of us are walking with our pants down. All of us are playing loud music, playing, you know, those those nasty, colorful words about the females. Is that all of us? Uh, those that are doing it, that have uh, visible and, and, and noted and, and recorded histories, I mean, as far as recent history is concerned, are protected by those laws. No, I ain't, I ain't talking about that. You said us are doing the dignitive and moral things. Who? Those, the ones who, who are doing it that are noted but are you, of that category, they are those people. But you said us, you said black people and us. I, I got to, I'm trying to say why you ask us why we thinking that you're not talking about all of us. Cause you're not, all of us, basically, color our skin does not have anything to do with shooting people and making, playing loud music, wearing your pants down behind your pants. That's not all of us doing that nor are all ministries endorsing that, right? So it's, I think when we put that, when we try to put this word black people, uh, we try to put- Then why, it, then, why it, does Black Lives Matter mean, what do you Well, Black Lives Matter had, look, there's social injustice, that was a movement dealing with social injustice. Wait a minute, who is Black Lives Matter addressing? Who is that? I'm what so, arbitrary I, group before me that? Focus social injustice, right? Social injustice. I'm not, I'm not in the movement, but I'm not against the movement. But I'm saying is, why is all the negative associated with it opposed to just that's not a ministry, that's not a church? What 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 are you expecting from them? What I'm expecting from Black Lives Matter? Yeah. That's not yeah. What I'm expecting from Black Lives Matter. Uh, what I expect is that the church is going to bring, is going to focus on what's going to fix the issue. So and what, it ain't Black Lives Matter. So, so what churches? Well, you got a problem with the church. Of course we do. You got a problem. Well, that's, why, that's why we're where we're sitting at right now. It's because the church wasn't addressing the issue. But but you know, okay. We're okay. So I mean, the church. How we address that issue? We address we the, the gospel, gospel right? We preach the honest, the good, and the gospel. We it, don't preach a social gospel. We don't preach a, 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 a you know. A, Right. Uh, an socially acceptable gospel. Exactly. We, we, that's, what that's what you're doing, right? It, individually and collectively, that's what we're trying to do, right? That's what we're trying to do. Don't be, I'm saying don't be wroth of continents falling. Now, I'm just trying to separate from the Cain factor. Cain was wroth, right? And he was, he his continents fell. Why? Why was he? That's something that was pleasing in the sight of God. You were right. So, so why is your continent falling? You're not right. Your continent is not falling. Your your job is going to be no, not. Your it's job not, is not preach the gospel, right? So let us continue to do that. Let's preach it, right? And and talk. If you want to address a particular ministry that's that's endorsing bad behavior, you should go to that ministry and do that. You should go directly to them. If you feel, I mean, honestly speaking, as we come in these sessions here, what's the what's the end of our conversation? It's and to crazy. ourselves and to, to, to ourselves and to the people that are listening to it. Right. Right. What is it? I right. mean, you, we have to at some point be able to distinguish what's edifying and what's, I mean, what, what's the efficacy of what we're talking about to, 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 right. to, to people that we're talking with. But so we, now when we get off on social issues and we have, and, and we have allowed it and we have in some instances condoned it, even when we talked about the politics, we got off in a, we got off in an area that really wasn't going to be beneficial to us as a kingdom. But 
when we get off in the doctor and, 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 and our kids get involved and stuff, and knowing what our kids get involved in, and saying that okay, this is either edifying or this is this is this is distracting or this is it's, it's pulling away from it, it's, it's denigrating. When we look at certain situations that look like they are righteous, if Christ is not centered, it's not going to be of any benefit to us. And that's the same thing. When, when I say not benefit to us, and when we talk about that from a spiritual perspective. Right. We have our civil rights. I agree. But I'm we, we have the right. We have a lot of rights. But right. that's not fixed us as a people. Us. These kids uh, on the street, and, and, and P. Lee said it, us. they don't know God. So how are they going to come to know God? And that was that. Oh, right. And that was saying is that once again, man, we're talking about the unsaved opposed to the saved, right? The, the other words, there's a harvest out there that requires a lot of ministry, right? And that's, that's your calling, to go reach out and preach the gospel to people, regardless of whether they're black or white. I see that, uh, you know, God, in his infinite wisdom, preached the gospel to uh, Adam and Eve prior to them falling in the garden. He said, don't eat from that tree. He told them. Right. He could have just stayed quiet and let them eat from the tree and just let, let the result find themselves out. Right. But what he did was he identified the issue and Thank he said, don't do that. And they did it. And then they saw the repercussion of the transgression. Right. I think this life is given to us for that purpose too. I mean, our children are going to go against our teaching. Right. That's just inherent. <laughs> that, that, that's right. Just inherent. right. You continue to do it. Right. So we're obligated to teach them truth so, right. so that when they make the error, they'll know what, what, what actually just happened. Right. And you so, got it. And, and, and I think the, the scenario he gave with the Genesis factor is here you got two groups of people you just, we just talked about. We talked about Adam and Eve. They heard directly from God and still disobeyed God. And they disobeyed. And they grew from it. And they, talk, and they talk about Cain also heard directly from God and disobeyed God, right? Yeah. So, so when we as a ministry, our job is just to continue to do, we can't do no more than what God can do, right? We can just go preach it. I'm, well, I'm, the legitimacy of it is if God ain't doing it through us, we out of place. But just preach it, right? So, yeah. so it's like, now we got to hear what he's saying and then mimic what exactly. he tells Exactly, right. And then at the same time, my expectation is you do your job, you do your part, but don't don't get upset if they still do what they're going to do. Right? Oh, man. well, and, 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 uh, and, you know something? I think that not to be upset is really be dead. Well, um, when I say dead, I mean really physically dead because it's going to impact you. <laughs> I mean, you, if you have compassion and love for somebody, anything yeah. that... that that hurts them is really going to tug at you. It's going to it's going to mess you up a little bit. Well, so I, I, I not come to the point where I can look at my black brothers and sisters and say I don't give, I don't care if y'all stuff. I, I care. I, don't think, I, don't I think hate that. to see these kids going through the stuff that they're going through because I know a lot of it is the society itself putting some weights on these kids that is really destroying them, right. and we don't strengthen them when we turn them in directions that don't strengthen them spiritually. Right. But don't forget Paul. You know when Paul was talking to King Agrippa. He was he was giving the gospel right. He was preaching the gospel to him, and then King Agrippa said, "Paul, you all you almost you almost got me saved. You almost." And Paul just said, "I I I I, I wish I could have." Right? I think. I mean, our kids are suffering. So the <laughs> ones that I have to deal with, maybe some of them are. I mean, not everybody's kids going through the same thing that these kids are going through that I have to deal with. Exactly. But I've seen these kids been set up since 2005 when I was dealing with them in school and how they weren't taught. Right. The system purposefully did not teach these kids. These right. kids turned the lives of crime. They ended up in jail. They right. ended up frustrated, aggravated, and, 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 un, and unproductive. Right. So now they're acting right. out and how they're doing it. They're buying drugs. They're shooting each other. Which they've been doing. They're turning it. has been going on you're for talking, you're This You're talking even about the breaking and all the stuff that goes on in the prison system. They're coming out with the hatred engendered in their hearts and now they're turning on each other. We're exactly. seeing a system of, of corrupted people, a corrupt system killing off these children. But can you and, see God can you see God moving in that system? Because for example, I'm in the prison ministry. I'm in the prison ministry, right? I'm in the prison ministry. Right. I'm in the prison ministry. We despite what they did to go into prison or even being deceived and, and lied and been put in prison, God still sending his people in those prisons. That's right, because he cares about them. And then you, and, and, you know, I, I, I don't think that God sits there and laughing and watches us go through the impact of sin. 
I think sin bothers him because he kills us. Right, but I, I guess what you're trying to say is that in spite of all those different falls of man and, and, and more attitudes and stuff like that, you still see the move of God, which is even you, going in and still trying to reach people, right? I mean, that's the beauty of it, isn't it? Because even, even when you saw the Cain factor, Cain was rough, his cotton had fallen, but you still saw God still trying to reach to him, still trying to find him an avenue to get back. And I'm saying is even in, in the Black Lives Matter movement, the Blue Lives Matter movement, and all those things, you still see God in there, right? You see God still trying to talk to people. And I think, I don't, I'm saying, I don't want you to feel like we don't supposed to not care. I want you to just understand this, see God move. I, th I think that, you know, you you look like part of it because you have a passion for it. When, when I, when I, when I, I think, I, and I, I was deceived by it. Okay, so I guess that's why I'm kind of touchy with it. But really, I fell for the the, so, the social movement. I really did. Now I embraced blackism to the nth degree, and then I realized that after the social, the social equalities came and all of these things, and we still got problems. I mean, people in the society still kill us, trying to kill us off. But I realized that it didn't fix us. Us. It didn't, it said, didn't fix you know, I'm saying when I say us as a people, I'm saying us as a human race. So social movements do not improve the individual. And I think that's why Jesus didn't focus on the, the Roman government and the way that they were treating the people. He understood that the problem was the heart. But wasn't the social movement open the, 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 the social movements would give us an avenue to, to demonstrate ourselves, to give us more It'll give us more freedom to express exactly. who we really are. Okay, to say then, hallelujah, praise God, right? It gives it, us a, it, it, that or a condition, right? MF B blase blase. But if so, so we but, start manifested. But look, look about the ones who are praising God, right? We see the ones you're talking about that's that still immoral. But how about the ones that's praising God, lifting a holy hand? You know what I mean? Take you. Yeah, I, put, I agree, hundred percent. That there's going to be there's going to be a uh, a, uh, there's going to be a push that, in that direction as well. Right. That is the thing to me is that we have to in the park song. It's like we don't want our children raised up blindly before these these icons that have been given them that are totally immoral. So what you that, are, that, recommend? that are destroying them. Now I say that they, that we're doing this right. because we are supporting the sale of those records. We are supporting the concerts that these Ooh, people. Who are? You're not. Well, they out there for, for they are the, 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 when I say that, I say the people. And as a as a uh, as a as a body of believers, I think our money is going in that direction too. But you're thinking, you're not knowing, right? You don't know how many people from the body of Christ are doing that, right? I mean, I don't want you to. What I'm saying is, let's not put a blanket statement of saying we all endorsing things, right? There's this negative. I think we all was the, the body of Christ was to lift up Jesus, right? That's that's our calling right to lift up jesus i think i like what Bridget was trying to say before he left was doors or avenues are constantly being open for the church to reach those people that that are acting outside the will of god it, it's that's what you are and that's your compassion i think you should continue to use those doors to pull in as many as you can individually collectively all of us right so I say it is I I admire your your compassion. I'm not putting that down. I think you you're right on top on track. But don't remember you do your part. That's the key, right? You do your part. Brother Asen do his part. We got to reach these people, but we got to understand in the end they have to receive Jesus Christ, right? I mean that's what I'm saying. I don't want to get upset because they don't come to Christ. I just want to make sure I did my part because he's going to ask me what did I do, and did I is my hand remember the tower we're talking about the the watchtower right the man the man is sitting in the tower he's supposed to call out if the enemy is coming and if, and if he doesn't call watch, out watch the blood is on his hands right see right. see what you're demonstrating is that you don't want any blood on your hands you want to you want to speak out against those things that's that's not lined up with God's will. You want to, parents to teach their children to, to, to be raised up, up in the gospel. And then you want those children to listen to their parents. But in the end, they all got to make the individual decision. And, 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 and 
that becomes the whole thing. The reality of it is we don't have to teach cardinality how to become cardinal. And I hope we're not it's doing that. Fair. Remember when the scripture talked about Jesus said he would fit the milk and the honey, that he might choose the good and right. reject it, that which was evil? Right. Jesus didn't have to be taught about evil. He was just there. We don't have to be taught how to be wrong. We're born wrong. Right. So we have to be instructed in righteousness and at some point begin to embrace that instruction. Right. Uh, I mean, to, and you got to reach each parent at a time, right? One parent at a time. Each person, each child, each parent. Yeah, so the gospel right. got to go forth and the truth has got to be preached. And that's this all we got to do. It looks like love, joy, peace, long suffering, patience, equitable distribution of resources, yeah. the servitude, all of these things. This it's is what good. the kingdom is built on. Right. This is what it should look like. Now, how is it going to look in, in the sight of those that don't don't have that? It's going to be flipped upside down. Right. And, and, and should our women be out there doing what they're doing as far as the world system is concerned? The world system is going to be the world. It's just beneficial. It's death. Right. The word right. says the wages of sin and the death, and it manifests itself in the world. And it applies it, to everybody, it, right? It, 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 it's death. We don't have to say sin don't work. We can look at it. Sin don't work. Right. It kills right. stuff. It literally kills it. Even if you it never preach it, you see it. So what we do is we preach truth. We preach the eternal kingdom, we preach the kingdom of God, we preach servitude to each other, we teach love to one another. Right. And then we watch this other stuff manifest anyway. You don't have to show the flip side of the coin. It's out there to be seen. That's just the nature of man. Right. So we're trying to pull them out of that. But the first thing that I came to realization was you can get a person out of them, or you can pull people out of Egypt, but you gotta get Egypt <laughs> out of them. You gotta get Egypt out of them. And God you had, Egypt, Egypt out of them, they'll transfer wherever they have to, to, to the promised land.